I have lied to you and I absolutely feel terrible. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. As you know from a recent video, I am working on a world record 3D printed marble run. It'll be the tallest 3D printed marble run in the world. I got in a little over my head. So I started building this thing last Monday uh, on Hot Makes. If you haven't seen Hot Makes, check out the channel. Hot Makes, it's all one, Hot Makes Live. You can find us everywhere. Uh, but we have a live stream every Monday night. And I started building this uh, live on the show while we had the crew from Earth, the East Coast Rep Rap Festival on the show. I'm super pumped for this thing. I am, I can't tell you how excited I am. I want my name to be there. I want to get the record for all of us because I think it's an awesome thing for 3D printing. Unfortunately, it's a little bit more risky than I thought uh, to do this all and do it in Maryland. So let me explain. So these are the main structure pieces of the Out of Marbles Towers. Uh, absolutely cool design, a ton of really cool obstacles, of which I'm, I'm only using a couple. But um, this is what's considered a mid section. And I need a lot of these, um, a lot, like 20 something of these. And how it works is you take your, uh, your rear section here, I'll face it towards you. Um, you take a, a side section or a rear section like this and like that. And I've been 3D glooping everything, 3D gloop. Check it out. This stuff is, is absolutely amazing for putting together uh, all your 3D printed parts, uh, P PLA, PTG, I think there's an ABS one and more. Here's the thing, I've been glooping it all. Um, and if you watch the live stream, it's still up. You can go check it out on Hot Mix channel. This kind of sits in here like that. All this stuff sits together and then we have a, a tower piece that kind of goes on this side right here. Um, I'm not gonna push that in because I wanna glue it first. So once this uh, first piece is on and they're glued, another section will sit on top. Let me show you what that looks like. So once you start with the bottom and you get your first sections on, you just keep going. You put your second section on and then you glue that and then you put in the side pieces and the front piece and you put your third section on and you just keep going. And as you can see, uh, while I'm building this, I'm gonna do three total sections. Once you're done with the frame, it looks something like this. And then you gotta put these uh, the little obstacles in here, as you can see. Where I messed up is thinking that this, building this early could probably survive a trip from Wisconsin all the way out to Maryland. Um, even if I brought it like this in a U-Haul, I am not sure it would make it. And that's where I think I lied to you guys. You see, each one of these obstacles needs to go in and there's, there's keyholes, there's holes in the bottom. It sits in like that. And I really, to be safe, need to glue this in. So when we are doing the, the world record, it doesn't move and there's no way the marble could leave the track. If it leaves the track, I don't get the record. I'm really scared, I'm really nervous about this thing bouncing around. I don't think it's gonna make it very well. If I take this off, this is literally just connected right here with a, a peg and some glue. Um, if this stuff breaks, I don't have time at Earth to fix it. And, and that's where my head's at right now. So one of my main duties at Earth this year is the MC. I get to have the microphone and I get to go out and have so much fun with the crowd, with the event, with the people that come, with uh, other content creators. And I'm not gonna get into like Friday night um, into Maryland next week. And we are one week away, by the way. Um, and I just, I don't have time to unload this Saturday from the U-Haul during the event and put it all back together if it falls apart. Um, and so I, I, I think I have to officially pull the plug on Bel Air, Maryland at Earth. My first goal is to be there for the event. They're having me out as the MC and then I, I'm part of the Death Racers and the Drag Racers and I don't think I'm gonna have this at the East Coast Rep Rep Festival next week. And that's where I lied to you guys. I said I was gonna be there. I said you could watch the record and I really want to, but for being honest, this is so much plastic, so much time printing. Um, Trent, a, a good friend of mine at Risto Designs, um, he used a, a, one of his printers and he printed, he printed the side, this, the side and the back braces for me. 
We're talking three kilograms of black uh, Polymaker PLA just in those pieces alone. For a quick perspective, I have to make five more of these towers, this size. So this is really four, right, with the top one, but there's three that I'm building in. Five more of them, plus the big one I made in the beginning. Um, and I might have to make more than that, depending on if we didn't make enough. I gotta measure it all. I'm pretty sure I'm where I wanna be with all of what we have now. But that's just for perspective. There's a lot of these towers that have to make it. If it was just one, it would be completely different. But there are several that have to make it unscathed. And there are a lot of parts that I didn't show, you know, that have to be glued in and stuff still. So um, that's just a, a little perspective on, on why I'm doing this. <laughs> it's just a lot of time, a lot of plastic, and everything has to go absolutely perfect um, for this thing to, to, to fully function and get this record. And I want the record to be huge, you know? I want it to be like so big that all of us win, that 3D printing wins because we made this 20 to 30 foot structure and it worked. So I'm gonna officially pull the plug on Earth. I'm still gonna be there. I'm still gonna have a ton of fun with everybody there. We're gonna MC. my family's coming. Uh, Lindsay and Tristan are coming with me. I just won't have the record there. And again, I'm so sorry. If, if anybody out there was coming specifically for this, uh, I'm sorry. So that was a little bit about um, why I feel like I lied to y'all, but there is good news in this video. It's not all doom and gloom because this thing is coming together absolutely awesome. While it may not make it clear across the country in the back of a U-Haul trailer, it will make it down to Milwaukee Maker Faire. Uh, it's, it's only about 40 minutes, 45 minutes actually from my house and it is the weekend of November 4th. It's at an awesome venue called Discovery World, and I have talked to them, and they have a space that I can do it in, um, along with some tools and equipment, uh, ladders and a lift, that kind of thing, that I can use to get this thing built. So there's some good news in this video, because the world record will be attempted uh, November 4th, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin at Milwaukee Maker Fair at the Discovery World. And I'm super excited to work with them and get this going. If you're around, if you're near the Milwaukee area, you wanna come in for uh, Milwaukee Maker Fair, come check it out. This is gonna happen. We're not stopping. We're gonna move forward. It just isn't gonna happen in Maryland. To uh, Chris and Vicky and the whole Earth team, I am sorry I can't get it out there. I know you guys were excited as, excited as I am because I would have loved to have been able to share this with everybody in the 3D printing world. It just needs to make sense for the magnitude of the time and money and all of that spent to make it happen that it actually has a very good chance to happen. So I apologize to you guys and I apologize to everybody watching. Um, if you were going to go and you were looking forward to seeing this, we'll still be there next weekend, East Coast Rep Rep Festival, Bel Air, Maryland. It's going to be amazing. There's a lot of awesome people going. But if you want to see the record, come check us out in November. Um, thank you guys for supporting me. Uh, you can always uh, support the cause because this is not a cheap in Denver. Um, even though Polymaker hooked us up with a filament, um, we have 3D Gloop hooking us up with all the gloop. Um, who, what else? Uh, the Rat Rig 500. Thank you so much to Fabrico. Out of Marbles for your amazing files. If you guys want to check this out, Out of Marbles, I'll put the link in below. These things are awesome, and the scale is much smaller than this normally. Um, it's it's such, a, such a cool set. It really is. So check it out. We will see you guys next weekend at the East Coast Rep Rep Festival, and we will see you November 4th at Milwaukee Maker Fair for the world record tallest 3D printed marble run. It's gonna happen, we're gonna get it. We'll see you there.